Hello dedicated people. First, congratulations on completing GIE and IELTS or TOEFL. So, I hope with this video you can design SOP that paves the path to your dream university. At the end, you will get some tips to write your SOP perfectly. My SOP has first part and second part. In the first part, I wrote about the things that motivated me to start studying and about my journey. At first, I have no idea whether is it okay to write a personal story on SOP or not. But my admits made me realize that you can say anything to the admission committee from the deep bottom of your heart. And as I said two parts, the next part deals with how things that happened in my academic life made me a perfect suit for this BIS program. So uh, if I felt like saying any tips in the middle, I'll talk. But for these tips, I won't display subtitles. I display subtitles for only sentences in SOP. I won't display subtitles for tips. Understand? So I display subtitles for SOP only. So let's start with the first paragraph. I still remember my childhood when a group used to tease me and made me feel worthless. They blamed me for one girl's hand fracture although I was not at fault. I was naive and believed them. After six months, someone told the truth. Then I asked my grandmother about the ways to get a good rank in class to prove my worth. Then she said, God always looks upon you from the sky. If he finds you studying all the time, he will give you good marks. As a child, I used to study under the sky to grab God's attention. Finally, I catch God's attention and he blessed me with second rank and then first rank in my fifth grade. My achievements started with their bullying. I might not be here applying to your university without that group. Although my education is free, I tried for scholarships to support my family financially. With 92%, I lost Navodaya's 7 years of free education in my 5th grade. After 2 years of preparation, with 94%, I lost the NMMS scholarship in 8th grade. Again, I lost the NTSC scholarship in 10th grade with a 1 mark difference. After continuous failures, I told my dad that I would stop because higher education is a financial burden. Then my father told me to ensure that I would not regret my decision later. I finally scored 9.7 GPA in grade 10 and got free education in RGUKT for 6 years. With happy tears, I told my father that I got a scholarship and no need to worry about my further education. My most significant achievement resulted from my father's struggle as he used to accompany me 25 kilometers for tuition on cold nights. I participated thrice in the International Space Settlement Design Contest. After failing two times, I tried again and won with my mother's motivation. My second prominent achievement is presenting my ideas at the ISDC Conference 2019 held in Virginia, USA. 18 times my ISDC journey was covered in national and state newspapers. I still recall and laugh at how my sister and I fought for a window seat on the plane as it was our first journey. I still remember my mother's happy tears. Schools invited me as a chief guest to inspire students. In St. Anne School, which established in 1876, I addressed around 1500 people on three essential aspects of life, giving 100% self-motivation and regrets which my parents thought while I was dealing with my failures. Would you please listen to my speech by typing my name Vaisnavi on YouTube? So here, uh, I delivered a speech in Saint and Sikindrabad. So I gave that link in my SOP to let them judge my ability to speak and show how motivated I am. I too don't know whether is it okay to give YouTube link in SOP or not. But after getting admissions, I felt it's 100% okay to give YouTube link in SOP, which tells more about you. I spoke without fear because my struggles, failures and achievements gave me courage.
after 5 years of continuous failures everything was smooth until july 20 2020 while i was getting up i heard my father saying rise and lose in the fever maybe because of covid 19 that moment my heart beat rose and i woke up in a hurry to ask my mother what dad had just said she said what i heard was correct we tested positive villagers abandoned our family as it was the first case in our village my father and i felt it hard to breathe and were on the edge of death we lost our grandfather and my aunt due to a lack of proper treatment owing to our poor financial state we lost hope were helpless and were impecunious to join my father in the hospital when i feel like giving up it's their lives that constantly motivate me as a first graduate from our family i hope to be soon in a position to admit my parents to a big hospital whenever they need treatment after 20 days his health got better we invited our dad with claps into our living room which was a life event for us as a self taught individual in my pre university course i developed two websites online notice board and weekly exams website as per university requirements that brought huge recognition and accolades those gave me confidence that i could make a difference in computer science and engineering for the first time and made me take csc in my bachelors competitions gave me confidence in my strategic thinking skills in the international indo nordic summit startup idea competition all my four ideas won second third and two consolation prizes from the pool of 250 ideas and also our university branches are actively using my services in technology these factors made me choose business and information systems because only bis masters can enhance my skills in innovation technology and analytics database management machine learning data science and mining subjects in computer science birthed my interest in business and information systems what i want to say is take some subjects from the curriculum and say these subjects are the reason for your interest in particular program internships in database design data science and analytics machine learning business research and development gave me hands on experience in my internship although i was the youngest one in the group they appreciated my decisions and considered my ideas so here in this paragraph write all your projects and explain the problems you faced and also explain how you overcome those problems I strongly felt to pursue my masters in business and information systems as I enjoyed working and was excited to return to work every Monday. These things gave me confidence in my ability to provide informations that organizations used to operate their business more efficiently. So here tell them related internships, research and all about your academic journey that motivated you for applying to the particular program. I understood that finances and marketing are essential aspects and information and communication technologies also play a vital role in improving business processes and enhancing overall performance. A graduate degree will help me grow my skills and build a social network and allow me to contribute much towards business organizations. After scrupulous research on the numerous universities curriculum coming across New Jersey Institute of Technology curriculum seemed to be the ideal fit so say after going through many universities curriculums say the university curriculum is perfect fit for you say uh, you are very interested in the program curriculum after going through pages of the department of informatics i decided to apply to your program as the course and opportunities provided resemble my interest and i felt it is designed in a way to enhance my skills so here uh, read the university page dedicated to your program and write what you understand if they are offering any certificate courses say you are interested in that too talk about your interested concentration also My ultimate goal would be to use my skills and experience to add to the startup industry. 
Thus, I dream to work with an organization with the help of international exposure in my master's and help startups with data-driven solutions for real-world business problems. I would like to take part in the New Jersey Innovation Acceleration Center. Michael Lee's research interest mirrored my passion and I dream of working under his guidance in human-computer interaction. So, uh, explore centers for entrepreneurship and research centers and say you want to be part of entrepreneur cell in their university uh, and mention a professor's name and say you want to work under him. The main thing is explain how you are going to use the resources provided by the university. This paragraph shows you have very strong reason to attend particular university. New Jersey Institute of Technology became my dream university owing to certain appealing aspects that include exceptional faculty, a world of opportunities, career services, team-based learning, diverse student population, good environment, tight-knit community, internship opportunities, brilliant research themes and opportunities for personality development. Uh, so here, uh, when you get any doubt while writing SOP, use Quora for uh, uh, your SOP and LOAS. So here, dedicate one paragraph to price the university. For that, type pros of New Jersey Institute of Technology in Quora. Then you get paragraph pricing the university. So here, don't copy it. Write it in your own words. Please don't mention the things the university doesn't do to impress the admission committee because they can quickly identify that you didn't do any research on their university. To be part of the New Jersey Institute of Technology will be my third prominent achievement. I hope to get a good scholarship to be financially more confident in my masters. I'll see my mother's happy tears after my admission as I told my mother the New Jersey Institute of Technology is as safe as our home. End with strong sentences to make the admission committee think like it's your dream university. I want to die with memories, not dreams and regrets. Vaishnavi. If you have any favorite quotation, just write it. At the end, write your full name as a signature. So, that's my SOP. And here are some tips. First tip. Guys, start early. You cannot complete your SOP in a single night. It takes almost one month. Here you can see an example. So example is word limit. The word limit is different for different universities. So you need to tell the same story in 500 words, sometimes 700 words and in some cases 1000 words. So it's not easy, not at all easy to trim 1000 words SOP to 500 words SOP. You know what? I wrote my SOP in 25 days. But I spent another 10 days trimming the SOP to match the word limit. The University of Cincinnati asked for 650 words and Sunny Buffalo asked for 700 words. Arizona State University asked for 500 words and the remaining had no word limit. So I wrote 1200 words. If SOP has no word limit, I was hoping you wouldn't go beyond 1200 words. I think in 1000 words you can express everything short and sweet. So, don't go beyond 1200 words. So, this is all about word limit. Second one is Google Docs. Save multiple copies and use Google Docs to not lose your valuable data. Third one is proofreading. Uh, everyone has some different and good ideas. Request up to five of your friends to correct and suggest some advanced phrases and vocabulary for your SOP. I requested my friends to correct my SOP. They helped me a lot to build a better version of my SOP. Finally, I took help from a CBSC student who turned complex phrases into short and meaningful phrases. I think it's advisable to take help from students who have great interest in English literature. Here comes the fourth one. Oh. After writing SOP or LOR, read loudly. When you read loudly, you may find more errors. You will come to know the wrong formation of sentences only by reading loudly. Fifth one and most time saving one is don't use the word to PDF converter like me. There is an option itself in the word while you are saving the document. Save it as PDF.
when using the option in word you can convert your word exactly to pdf without changing paragraph alignment or line alignment but using small pdf i love pdf websites uh, the alignment changes sometime so follow this option last and important thing is don't edit sop that available on google SOP is an opportunity to talk with admission committee express your emotions your work your success in your own words use the opportunity and write on your own and impress them so don't forget to start your SOP early wishing you lots of luck all the best